All right, you guys, so we're check out how to intertwine text here in Blender. This was inspired from one of my tutorials done in Illustrator. So we're going to check out how to do it in Blender. Now, this was a fun project, probably not going to be as fun for you because it's kind of complicated to do, but here's the process. All right, so I'm going to press Shift plus A and select the text. Press Tab so you can edit. And I'm going to go with the letter P from Panther. And I'm going to hit Tab again. Let's go to the text. And here I'm going to open up the fonts. And let's click on the folder. And here we're going to search for a condensed font, the Humane. And I'm going to go with the Humane Regular. Now, if you want to know how to install fonts in Blender, I'm also going to leave a link in the description because it's a little bit more tricky. And click on Open Folder. So the main point is to have some condensed font. Now here we're going to go to the geometry at the text. Let's go to Extrude and I'm going to go with 0.008. Let's go to Bevel Depth 0.002. And then I also going to go here, switch it to shader editor. I also going to recolor the text, click on new. And I'm going to switch up the render mode to this one. And let's go to base color. I'm going to make it lighter, choose a color. And there you go. All right. So another thing you're going to need to do is right click on the letter and go to set origin, select the geometry to origin. And from here, all you need to do is press control C and then control V bring the letter out now make sure to deselect and select it again and then press tab so this way you can rename it and then do it again so if you don't deselect that is going to edit differently so don't do that so make sure to deselect and select again and then you can edit and from here to make this work we're going to need to set up the camera press ctrl shift plus a select the camera and i'm going to bring this up press ctrl r to reset the camera i'm going to go and separate the 3d viewport and at the left, we're going to activate the camera. I'm also going to select the text and rearrange it. Now let's go to the camera settings. Click on the camera here. Let's go to type. And I'm going to switch it to orthographic. Now in order to zoom this in, you're going to need to go here to the orthographic scale. And this way you can zoom in. And from here, I'm going to select the very first letter. And we're going to need to arrange this accordingly. So let's go here to the object. And you're going to need to set up the X, Y, Z rotations. Now I already know my rotation values. So I'm just going to input Y is 34 and the Z is 18. And then I'm going to select the letter V. And I'm going to bring it up. So it's going to start crossing each other. And for this one, I already have a different value. But in your situation, you're going to need to reset that. So I'm going to go to the rotation X. I'm going to go with 20 and the rest minus 24 and let's go and rearrange this i'm just going to bring this up and bring it in so it should be something like this now as you can see the first intertwine is done now i'm going to go to the second letter i'm going to copy paste the letter p's values 34 and 18 to the letter a 34 18 and i'm going to bring up the letter i and just copy paste the values from the letter v and I'm going to start intertwining this with the letter P. As you can see, it goes under, but here I'm going to bring this up. So it's going to go above the letter P. And check this out. In the reality, it is going to look something like this, but in the orthopedic view, it looks totally perfect. So now I'm going to go to the letter A, and the letter A is going to go above the letter I. So it's going to look something like this. And I'm going to bring up the letter S, type in the values, and arrange. Bring it all the way up. And I'm going to speed up the process and repeat the same steps. And the final result should look something like this. I also added HDRI lights. If you want to check out how I made this, I can leave a link in the description as well. And then the composition realistically actually looks like this. But with the orthopedic view, it makes it perfect. So pretty much that's it. And thanks for watching. See you on the next one.